Hello everyone and welcome to my playthrough of Factorio. Alright, we were out here killing biters last time. And I think... Um, as much as I might regret it, <laughs> I think what I want to do today is to just go around and kill biters all over the place. Um, I've been talking about how I've been worried about the evolution uh, ramping up when I do that. Um, so it might be a big mistake, but that's, that's what I've decided I want to do today. So, uh, let's check our research here first real quick. All right. So we do have some blue science coming through cause we are getting this research done. So that's awesome. So what can we do now? I guess we could do faster research. That sounds good. And then what else do I need for my um, robots? Do I need anything else or did I research it all? Follower robot count. I probably want to upgrade that. Oh, that's combat robots though. Yeah, I tried that combat robot out in the last encounter I did and it was horrible it didn't last at all so i don't know if those things are even worth it but i guess we'll research it anyway because i do want to research everything um inserter capacity bonus sounds good oh yeah blue circuits we're probably gonna have to get going on those soon too yeah that unlocks a bunch of stuff what's this power armor didn't i get this already what do I have now? Oh, I have modular armor. Well, so what's that? Uh, where did it go? Power armor. Armor with a large equipment grid and inventory size bonus. Well, I like the sound of that. I wonder what I need to make this. Oh, okay. I need the blue circuits. Of course, because it's a prerequisite. Or is it, actually? Oh yeah, it's this. So yeah, okay. Um, yeah, let's research that too. Because I, I like the sound of uh, uh, inventory size bonus. That's excellent. Okay, uh, what do we have here? Projectile damage 5. That takes a lot. That takes 500. And weapon shooting speed. Yeah, I mean, we do want these things. Are these infinite upgrades? Because I don't... Oh, well, okay, there's level 6. I was wondering if you could just keep upgrading those indefinitely, but no, maybe not. Oh, and there's even another armor. Power Armor MK2. Mark 2. Armor with a huge equipment grid and inventory size bonus. Wow, and that takes yellow science. Okay, well, that's further down the line. What's this blue belt stuff? Logistics 3. Don't I have... Oh, wait. Blue belts. I have red belts. Oh, so these are even faster. Huh. Okay, and that takes purple science. Alright, well that's... Well, I guess it's not that far away. I could do it right here. Hmm, okay. Alright, well we got our research queue full there. So that's good. Um, so before I tackle this, well, first of all, let's repair this thing and I'm going to need more of these repair things. I bet I'll probably need a lot of them if I'm going to go around and kill all these biters. Yeah, let's do, I mean, that's 15, but let's make even more. So for that, I need green circuits and what else was it? Iron gear wheels, which are right here. How many can I make now? A hundred. And maybe we don't need a hundred, but maybe like... 50 total. That might be good. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then let's go grab ammo. 
Hopefully there is some. Yes. Oh, haha, <laughs> my inventory is full though. Um, okay. I have a bunch of iron. That's not ideal. Let's just put those... Hmm. There's not really a great spot. I guess I could do right here because there's a power pole. What do we got going on here? Oh no! <gasps> oh no! That's not in a... In a... Uh, protected area. Oh, that's bad. Well, that's all the more reason I want to start going out and attacking. Uh, attacking their bases. Actually, here, I can repair it, right? Or is it completely... Wait, what is... What is that? mean? What does that purple mean? I don't know what that is. I'm very confused what that purple means. I mean, the belt is gone. Okay, it went away. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Anyway, uh, yeah, why did we get... Oh, because it reached right here. Aha. Okay. Interesting. All right, well, let's, um, oh, I didn't grab any ammo. Well, I have these ones. Do I have any turrets? I have four. All right, well, let's just put these down. And we'll get some walls around them. All right. And hopefully, hopefully if they come to attack, they'll attack in this area and not up here. Yeah. Sorry, I get, uh, so I guess when we go attack, we'll attack this first. Also, what is this logistic network? The Logistic Network is a powerful automated delivery network that utilizes flying robots to move items and perform automated construction. Yes, that is what we've been waiting for. It has three major components. The RoboPort defines the area of network coverage, acts as a charging and storage point for robots. Okay. Logistic Robot fulfills, logic, er, fulfills logistic orders and Construction Robot performs construction orders. Okay, so I guess logistics. Oh, it says transports items between logistic chests. Oh, oh, these are chests so you can store stuff in. Okay, and provider chests supply the network with items. So these are provider chests. All right, cool. That is so exciting. Why do these have a play button? Is that because there's a tutorial? Yeah, okay. All right, cool. And we've read everything, right? Yeah, we haven't missed anything. All right, and let's mark that as red. There we go. Oh, no, we do have more. Oh, it opened up. Okay. Uh, all right, construction robot fulfills construction, deconstruction, upgrade, and repair orders from the logistic network. Construction orders are created by ghost building blueprint usage or when a friendly building is destroyed and needs to be rebuilt. Oh, is that why that purple um, thing showed up? Because that's showing that these guys can repair it? Maybe that's the deal. All right, uh, deconstruction orders are created by selecting the desired entities with a deconstruction planner. I think this was what happened one time when I hit Control Z, maybe. Um, okay, uh, upgrade orders are created by the usage of upgrade planner. Oh. Does that mean you can upgrade, like, uh, if you had inserters, you could upgrade them to stack inserters or something? Or maybe belts from yellow to red? That's cool. These orders are also created when using the undo feature. Yeah, the undo feature is what I was talking about with Control z 
All right, passive provider chest supplies its items to the logistic network. This means any items in the passive provider chests can be taken by robots to fulfill logistic or construction orders. Okay. So they're taking the green circuits. Oh, and they're delivering them to, to the player, to me. Ooh. So that means you don't have to have um, chests you have to walk to. They can just bring them to you. That sounds amazing. All right, and then storage chest stores the items taken from player trash slots and deconstruction orders. Any items in the storage chests are also provided to be used for logistic or construction orders. Storage chests can be filtered to only accept one type of item. Uh, okay. Wow, that is a lot of information that I'm probably going to forget all of <laughs> before I get to uh, using those, but that's really cool. Okay, um, so let me go back to trying to get rid of this stuff in my inventory. So I think I made an iron chest somewhere, didn't I? Oh, I was thinking of these two. I guess it's coal and it's... Or wait, what is this one doing? This one's not doing anything. What on earth? <laughs> okay. No idea what that's about. I guess it was doing coal and I moved the belt or something maybe? I don't know. Very weird. Um, also, I see we only have coal on one side of the belt. That could be a problem. But that's not a problem for the moment. Um, okay, so we want to put that here. And we'll put a chest here. And then this will be coal. Actually, let me keep two stacks for the tank. If we're going to drive around a lot, I don't know how much it um, uses up for fuel. All right, and then stone can go in here. And then I guess we'll make another one here going that way for iron. Okay, now I have a bunch of plastic and stone bricks too. Did I have a stone brick chest? Um, no, or wait, is this? No. What's going on there? Oh, that's a filter inserter. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not the best deal there. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, but no, I don't see... Oh, wait. Yes, there is. Right here. Alright. Very good. Get rid of those. Um, anything else? The sulfur. I probably don't need that. And that was down here. Oh, and plastic, too. Oh, except it's full. Okay. Well, bummer. Um, I guess let's just put this here with a chest. And we'll put that in there. Okay. Um, now we're looking pretty good, I think. And I have a hundred grenades. That's probably not enough either. So I'll, I'll get grenades. However, um, while I'm over in this area, I wanted to check out um, this flamethrower uh, ammo. Where was it? Yeah, flamethrower ammo needs crude oil made in a chemical plant. Do I have chemical plants? Yes, I do. So let's check this out. I'm wondering if I can just shove it like right here. Oh, it needs steel plates. All right. Well, maybe we'll just use this manually for now. Does this need two inputs of oil or does that just mean I can do it on either side? I don't know. 
I guess we'll find out. All right. So I will just put a stack in there. And then we'll just do this for now. Did it output? Oh, there it goes. Did it output something and it, like, disappeared? I thought th I saw that arm move. But maybe... Maybe it was just moving because I placed it or something. I don't know. Anyway, we are getting some. It's very slow. Let's make another one. And... Since this is just temporary, we'll do... Uh-oh. Another attack. Oh, we're okay over there. Although, this stuff is starting to get damaged. What are we looking like up here with the radar? Oh my gosh, the radar is almost destroyed. Wow. Yeah, I think it might be a good idea to do this... Uh, Biter termination expedition. <laughs> Is that what we're going to call it? I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, I need to tell this to make that. And we'll give it that. And I don't know how many 100 steel plates is going to make. I guess it does five at a time, so not a ton. Wow. Yeah, that's very expensive ammo. One twelve, I guess, is the max. That's a strange number to be the maximum size it takes. All right. In any case, I wonder how much ammo this actually is. Also, I'm going to have to figure out how to switch weapons in the tank, too. I would think it would be with tab, but it, I wasn't really having, or I wasn't seeing that work before. Um, did I leave my tank sitting wherever? I guess I did. Does it show me on the map? Yeah, it's up here. Um, because I was wondering what the other, um, the other ammo type it can take. Was it here? Vehicle flamethrower, vehicle machine gun, tank cannon. So I guess that would be these, the cannon shells. I don't know what the difference is. Is, is this just more damage? 300 explosion, 180 physical. Yeah, 200 and 100. These have more piercing power though. I guess that's good for armor. Okay. Um, and those take explosives, and I think that was... Yeah, sulfur. Sulfur and coal and water. Um, I think we'll skip the explosives. We'll just try out the flamethrower. 59, is that enough? Maybe. I got 60. Yeah, let's just try it and see. I'm curious. Also, I have one more worry, um, which is that if I'm using a flamethrower, is it gonna catch trees on fire and like start a forest fire? Because if so, that sounds really, really bad. And it would probably add to the pollution and just be a bad time. It'd make the place look terrible too. <laughs> um, so I really want to be careful with that. Because I've seen on the, the like intro videos that play when you first launch Factorio on the main menu, I've seen them show like forest fires or you know trees on fire so i assume that is a thing that can happen which
which is a bit scary. Uh, okay, so let's fill this up and then let's get our flamethrower ammo. Oh, wait, I need an actual flamethrower? Or is it there? Oh yeah, it's there, okay. And it is tab, that's working, so good. Um, okay. So is that all I need? I do have some fish, but hopefully I won't need that. Um, I also need to put coal in this thing. Oh no, it's got coal. I'll just shove some more in there. Okay. Um, I think I'm ready. I got the repair packs. Yeah, I think I'm good to go. So, I guess let's start right over here. In which case, I need to drive through my base. Uh, I hope this isn't a mistake. Oh, you kind of move around on the belts with this tank. Hopefully it can run over this stuff without crashing into it. Yes, it can. Okay, and then I should be able to just go right down the belt then, right? Or the bus, I mean. Yeah, that's working. Okay. Alright, so now we've got a big forest in our way. So I guess I need to go down and then back. Or no, I guess it's down and then across. Okay. Um, here, let's try this flamethrower. Can I use it on this tree? Oh, interesting. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's gone instantly. It didn't start a fire, but maybe it would only do that on adjacent trees. Okay. Well, let's see what this flamethrower does to these biters. I'm very curious. All right, come and get me. There they come. Wow, that does some pretty good damage. How about the worms? Oh yeah, that does good damage to them too. Taking quite a bit of damage though. Wow, yeah, like, I, to the point where I need to get out of here. Wow. That was pretty rough. Okay, yikes. And how many repair packs is this going to take? Took almost two full ones. Nope, it did take two full ones and a little bit more. Wow, and how much ammo? I'm down to 37 already. Yikes, okay. Well, let's go finish them off. Okay, well that nest is taken care of. Let's try this one down here. Can I just like run these over too? Oh yeah, I can. Oh, but it probably does a lot of damage to the tank. Okay, well that one went a little better, but I still took a ton of damage. And I'm getting attacked somewhere. Or is that just my the attack I just did right here? Oh, <laughs> it still has uh, the goo on it. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. 
It's still going off because of this goo on here. How do I get rid of that? There it goes. Okay. All right. Well, uh, yeah, it went a little better, but man, that churns through the ammo, doesn't it? Um, okay, so what should I do next? I guess... I mean, I was thinking that I would take out all these nests and then build a wall right here. Um, however, I think maybe I should go up here first. So maybe I'll take out this one. And then this one. And then this one. And that one. Just because... Um, I'm worried about this iron um, mine being attacked. It has basically been constantly attacked ever since I built it. Alright, let's hit tab and we'll switch to the guns and then I'll get my grenades. That went pretty well. Oh, there's one more. There we go. And that only took 167 bullets. I mean, not 167. Uh, what is that, 33? Yeah, so that's not too bad. All right, so let's keep going up. And I'm also curious, can I see... Yeah, evolution factor is up to 53 now. Or 0.53, I mean. Oh, that's a rock. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? All right, that went pretty well. Let's repair our tank again. Down to 130 rounds. Let's take on this one. It's nice that you can shoot in all directions in the vehicle. Why am I not moving though? Why am I not moving? This is not good. Why can't I move? I'm pushing W. My tank is getting destroyed and now I'm dying. Ah, oh, man. Why was that happening? I couldn't move. I don't understand. Ah, oh, man. That is very frustrating. Okay, well, yeah, there's my body. I guess I didn't see that last time I died. Ah, oh, okay. Well, do I have the stuff to make another tank? Uh, it's here, right? Steel plates, iron gear wheels. Um, steel plates, okay, iron gear wheels I can get here from our old stash. Well, I guess that just proves that even the tank is not invincible. All right, let's grab these. I think it said 50. Yeah, we got enough there. Um, actually, I'll just grab more so I can make more of the uh, flamethrower ammo. I 
advanced circuits and what else oh advanced circuits not the green ones and engines those are both all the way on this side Okay, so we'll grab a stack of engines. By the way, those look like, yeah, they're queuing up a bit now, so that's excellent. Okay, then advanced circuits, which are up here. And that should be it, right? Yes, tank. Okay, and then let's go grab more ammo if there is any, I hope. Not much, but I guess it's enough to take out that one biter area. Okay, then let's go make some more flamethrower ammo, which I think I only needed steel, right? The only other thing was the oil. is in there. Six. <laughs> That's not very much. It's going to take a little while. So I think you guys said I have like five minutes to go get my stuff, so I guess I better go pretty quick then. I guess I'll just wait for this stuff to craft. It's not gonna take too much time. Oh, it's saying low power now. Look at that. Oh, you know why that's probably happening? Because I reconfigured that iron mine with the extra train uh, cargo wagons last time, last episode. That's interesting. Well, I guess that means it's working. And it is getting me more throughput, so that's good. All right, we're almost done. Come on, three more. Last one. Wait, why did it start? I thought it needed five. That was weird. Okay, anyway, there we go. Okay, so let's go back up here, and I'll also check ammo one more time before I go. It's probably not much, but maybe a little bit. Okay, we could probably place it down here. Oh, and I need coal also. Which I can get from this chest. Yep, that should be enough. Let's get out of this area here. Oh, look at the lights flickering because of the low power. That's interesting. Alright, we'll put it here. Give it coal. Hop in. And then this will go here, and this will go here. All right. There we go. Okay, let's go back and get our body. It was... Was it here or here? Um, you guys told me there was a way to see... Yeah, tab... Or not tab, but the uh, tilde key. 633, 231. Left click to view. Oh, okay. There you go. Cool. Okay, so it was that one. 
Man, yeah, I wish I knew that before. That's that's very handy. Okay. Let's go back down and around again. get over there. Did I come through here? Yeah, I guess I did. Alright, now how much resistance do I have over here? I guess everything is pretty much still alive. Oh, I have no grenades, so I got only ammo. That's not good. And I don't have much ammo. Oh man, this might be a big mistake. These biters are taking so much to kill. Oh my goodness. Wow. I don't have any repair kits either. I can't believe how much ammo these things are taking. Let me switch to the flamethrower. Get everything? I think I did. Whew. Okay. Wow. Crazy. Okay. Now, where is my body? Right there. Died 8 minutes and 22 seconds ago. Remaining time 6 minutes and 34 seconds. There you go. So you get 15 minutes. Alright, so I just right click. Yes. Excellent. Whew. Okay, and it looks like everything goes back where it was supposed to go. So that's great. So then I can repair this guy. All right, and now we have our grenades back. I mean, we have everything back, of course, but yes, we have plenty of ammo now. So if I hop in again, I'll load this up. And I will just, I guess, do my best not to get stuck. I really don't understand why I couldn't drive forward. I mean, it's a tank. It shouldn't, <laughs> it shouldn't be blocked by biters. I don't know. I, th I thought that was really odd. But anyway. Wow. Yeah, look at these guys. They take so much ammo. go. That went better. Okay, let's repair again. Alright, now let's go to the one up here. Actually, before I do that, let's fill this up again. Okay. And I get grenades ready. All right, that went well. What are we looking like now? Pretty good, actually. Uh, 
Um, what do we want to do here? I guess maybe we'll get these three. Let's go try that. This one's a big one. Look at all those worms. Achievement. Destroy 10 spawners by impact. Ha. Huh. That's funny. There we go. Oh, there's still one worm left. Can I just run him over? Yep. Oh, wait. Did that work? Yeah, it worked. Okay, cool. All right. Let's repair our tank. Refill our ammo again. Oh, I gotta get in first. There we go. Let's go get this one. Thing? I think so. Alright, and then there's one more, right? Yeah, down here. And before we attack this one, I want to see where our uh, evolution is at now. Oh, I went too close. I can't check, really. What does this say? Can I read it while driving? Not really. There we go. Okay. Repair again. Is there a way to check on the radar? Like, uh, no, not there. Uh, maybe here? No, I think you have to look at an actual spawner. And I don't see any of those in radar range at the moment. So yeah, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, over here. Uh. 55 or 0.55. Yeah, so it definitely went up quite a bit. Okay. All right. Um, what else? I guess this one. Yeah, maybe we'll go this way. How much coal is this taking up? Ooh, yeah, a decent amount. Oh, I have more though. Okay, good. Yeah, this is kind of fun, but man, it's it's um, stressful <laughs> doing these uh, combat encounters. While I'm here too, I'm going to repair this stuff, even though I probably shouldn't get attacked now over here, I don't think. But I wanted to repair, yeah, especially up here, this radar is almost toast. There we go. There we go. Uh, I think these are all good, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay. All right. Away we go. 
Uh-oh. Am I going to get through here? Yeah, we're good there. I guess I'm going back to my base, though, which I don't really want to do. Um, let's just squeeze through here. There we go. That's totally realistic. <laughs> Let's fill this up again. And go take out this one. It was this one I wanted to take out, right? Yeah. Well, this one, really. But they might all be at the same time. These ones seem easier to take out. Why is that? I wonder. Oh, not that one. Whoa, what is that? A big worm. Okay, they do have big worms. I was wondering about that. Wow, that takes a lot. That's a chunky boy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is this thing going to get destroyed? Fall off, goo, please. That big worm, man, it does some serious acid damage, doesn't it? There we go. Alright. Um, hop in, refill that again. And actually, can I even... Get to that one with the tank? Not really. Uh, hmm, how am I going to do this? I guess we have to go kind of up and over this way. Maybe we'll take out that one and this one and this one. We'll like do a, a clockwise motion here. I think that'll work okay. And then after we take out those four, that'll probably be a good place to call the episode. This has a lot of open space to build in. All right, let's try our flamethrower again. go and there we go okay so this one is the next one wait was I going yeah all the way over here There that one is. That's a small one. Is that everything? Whoops. Hit a tree. I think that's everything. Okay. Next. These are pretty easy. Can I just run through these? Wow, that slows you way down. But it worked, so that's cool. All right, let's repair again. Refill our ammo again. Okay. And I think this will be the last one. Um, I guess we'll go through this way. This is a small one, too. There we go. Great. Okay. 
Well, that was very productive. So let's take a look at our map now. Yeah, so in theory, now I could build a wall either here or maybe I'll um, encapsulate this copper ore patch. So maybe we'll go like, maybe we'll take out a little bit more, take out this one. This is a big one up here, so that's a little scary. Um, but yeah, we'll maybe have the wall, I don't know, come encapsulate those somehow and then we could build another wall over here. I should put a radar out here actually while I'm here. Um, I could do this because I believe I have the stuff I need for it. Oh, I don't have any turrets, but maybe that'll be okay. I don't know. So let's go like, uh, maybe up here by this cliff. Oh, there's another biter nest. Uh... Can I make a turret? No, I don't have any iron plates or copper plates. I have one copper plate. <laughs> uh, okay, well, um, I guess then let's just take out this thing too. It's just worms. All right. So now, yeah, let's put it maybe, well, let's put it by the water. All right, I do have radars, right? Yes, okay. So yeah, we'll just put it like here and then we'll get our solar panels and put them like that, power pole, like that. Um, should I put walls around it? I don't think it matters because there's nothing to protect it. If it's going to get attacked, it's it's all going to get destroyed anyway. So yeah, I don't think it matters. Um, there is a biter nest right here. But I don't know. Maybe this thing doesn't put off any pollution. Actually, does it say? Uh, it doesn't say there. Does it say here? It doesn't say there either. What about these? I mean, you would think solar panels wouldn't. Yeah, it doesn't. So maybe this won't get attacked. What about the power poles themselves? Wire reach supply area. No, it doesn't say, but I, I don't know what the mechanism is for biters to attack stuff. So I don't know if it would attack it or not. Uh, anyway, all right. So we got a radar there. And then down this way, this is kind of a much wider area. So if we wanted to wall off this, it would be a, a lot bigger project. So we might need to explore over here more to kind of see where this water goes and see if there's any kind of more natural choke points. And then I'll probably need to come back on this side and attack all these nests too. Did I see that iron patch before? I don't know, but that's a nice big one. And then this one over here too is big. And we got plenty of uh, resources now, except for uranium. I still haven't seen any more uranium. Actually, what is that right there? I think I just found some. 875. That doesn't seem like a ton, but maybe it is. I don't know how that stuff works, but this was 628. Yeah, I don't think I've seen any more uranium anywhere. So I'm nervous about switching to uh, nuclear power. If that's all we've found so far. But anyway, yeah, so I think that's a good place to call it. So I uh, appreciate you guys being here with me today. And I will say, take it easy and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.